Hey guys, welcome to Your Best Interviews. My name is Eric Smith. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. Today, what I wanna talk to you about is just the top reasons that a process might be moving slow or that you haven't heard back from a company that you've applied to. So this is a huge frustrator for a lot of people. I know I've been in that boat and most of the people I work with say the same thing. They've applied to a job that they really want, but they just haven't heard back in a week, two weeks. When did, When should they reach back out? I think it's important for people to understand the main reasons why a company might take a lot longer to get back to you. And um, really it boils down to just every company's hiring process is different. Their timeline for recruiting is a little bit different, right? So some companies will put a job out there and they'll let it sit for a couple of weeks just to acquire as many candidates as possible before they take it down and start evaluating candidates. That is not always the best practice. Um, you know, I always recommend that you be applying to a lot of different jobs right? And so if they sit on you for two weeks, chances are you're going to be in the recruitment process for another company and further down the road with them. So it's not always the best recruiting practice, but that is what some companies do. You'd be surprised how many companies have really broken recruiting hiring processes that do not favor you as the candidate. So just keep in mind that some companies in the recruitment process are going to um, not necessarily align with your speed and urgency of actually hearing back from them. And that's okay, right? So it could just be their process for how they're posting, how frequently they're checking their candidate pool to actually down screen candidates. Or it could just be that their hiring date's pushed out, right? If they post a job, maybe you apply to their job in May, May 1st, right? Maybe they're not planning to hire anyone until July 1st. And so they have no urgency to actually go through and whittle down their pipeline because they don't want to miss candidates that could be applying at the end of May, right? It makes no sense for them to bring bringing candidates in and interviewing candidates. They can't actually put them into the role until July 1. And so just that could really slow down their process for how quickly they're screening and setting up interviews and all these next steps, right? There's a lot of different reasons. And then another main one, could just be that the recruiters for that role, unfortunately, are not the best at what they're doing, right? Um, how this shows up is if there's 200 applications for a job, maybe you're the 198th, as they're going through and looking at candidates, it could just be that they found the top 10 candidates that they can move forward for interview in those first 50 resumes that they looked at. And then they just are done. They they move on to the next rec that they have that they're focused on. Where this hurts you is, you could be a lot more qualified than those 10 that they put forward. But because that particular recruiter, or HR manager, or whoever decided that they had a really qualified candidate based on the first 50 resumes they saw, that could eliminate your chances of actually moving forward for that role. So again, I always emphasize that the recruiting process is unfair. There are things that you can do. What I would recommend is if you've applied for a job and you haven't heard back in a week, 10 days, two weeks, Find somebody in that company, reach out on LinkedIn. Maybe it's the hiring manager. Maybe it's the HR manager. Maybe it's the recruiter over that vertical. But connect with them on LinkedIn and send them a very short message. You're not asking for anything of them. You're not selling yourself in that message. All you want to say is, I wanted to introduce myself. I recently applied for this role. Um, I know that you guys have a lot of, uh, of uh, you guys are swamped and, and likely, you know, screening out the, the best qualified candidates. If I can add anything or share anything further that would help your decision making on me as a candidate for this role, please let me know. I'm very eager, um, you know, to, to hear back or very eager to, to potentially work for you or something along those lines. You're keeping a very short message, right? And all you're really doing is just friendly nudge to them to say, I recently applied for this role. Make sure you reference the role that you applied to. And then just volunteer. If there's anything else I can provide you that would help your decision-making process, please let me know. Very eager about this opportunity. Your name, that's it, right? Um, again, they're likely not gonna reach out to you and say, wow, we actually do need a little bit more. What it's gonna do is just nudge them to put your name um, association a little bit higher when they're going through their applicant tracking system and their candidates. Um, that's one thing that I would recommend doing. Again, it's just a friendly nudge. You could also reach out to the hiring manager if you can find them on LinkedIn. That's always great because typically a hiring manager has no idea how the recruitment team is going through candidates and how they might be discarding candidates that are more qualified for a role just for time and, you know, um, uh, depending on the rec load, right? Or the number of jobs that they're working on from a recruiting standpoint. 
by reaching out to a hiring manager directly. The hiring manager can quickly see your profile. And if anything, they'll ping that to the recruiter and saying, hey, I just had a candidate, Eric Smith, reach out, said he applied for my role. Not sure where he's at in the pipeline, but wanted to let you know. Getting a ping from a hiring manager to the recruiter is just bells on the, you know, bells for them to say, I need to look at that candidate and if they're qualified, put them in the pipeline because the hiring manager already has eyes on them. These are just things that help you move forward in the process, but it's really important for you to understand why you might not be hearing back. Um, there are some very common things and it's usually sitting on the company side. The recruitment process is unfair. It's not always the same. Every company has a different process for hiring. So just keep that in mind. Their urgency might be a lot slower than you. Uh, it might be that their hiring date is further out than what you would assume. And so they're actually just purposely moving slow. Or it could just be that the recruiter uh, or the person that's actually going through the screening process it has, has a lot on their plate and they're doing things, they're, you know, pretend, cutting corners um, that, that could impact you as a candidate. And so the ways that you can take some of this in your own hands is find these people on LinkedIn, send a friendly, very short message. You're not selling yourself in that. It's just provided as a nudge to increase your odds of moving forward in the process because that's the whole game. Guys, I know that this is a broad topic. I know that I talked really quick at a high level. Some of this stuff is common sense, but it's really important for you to understand if you're frustrated, there's a lot of reasons why companies move slow in this process. Um, and there are things that you can do to help yourself and get, increase your odds of actually moving forward in the process, which is reaching out, right? Find somebody at that company that's relevant to that role and in that hiring process and reach out. Just provide a you know a face and a name to the resume that's in the system. Hopefully this was helpful, guys. Check out the links below. I drop two videos every week, so hit subscribe. I promise my videos are all centered on helping give you real information that can help you, practical advice in the job search process, the interview process. All of this is centered around helping you get the job that you want. So I appreciate you being here, and we will check in next week.